Last 2019, us citizens of the United States in the Pacific Northwest found ourselves breathless upon the sudden appearance of the Asian giant hornet. The Asian giant hornet, nicknamed murder hornet, is the largest hornet species in the entire world. Its abrupt entrance was followed by a barrage of information offering horrific details that account for terrifying experiences connected to these insects. Their alarming size, coupled with the excruciating pain from their stings and even their ability to cause sudden death, has concerned everyone. But are these giant insects really worth all the buzz? Are we in for a widespread invasion? Or are all of these just a product of our caffeine-induced imagination? Stay tuned and find out all that you need to know as we give you the truth and debunk myths about our murderous visitors, better believers. Oh. And before we get too far along, make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video, and turn on notifications, or Bach will rise from the dead and eat your face off! Number 10. The Stinger Now it's pretty clear why people are in a state of panic because of these winged devils' arrival. The stinger of the Asian giant hornet is about one quarter inch long, longer than a regular honeybee's. This means that normal beekeeping suits actually can't protect you from the lengthened stinger. Here. Entomologist Chris Looney shows off the extra thick protective gear he wears when investigating a possible nest. Researchers say the sting of a murder hornet injects a powerful venom packed with eight different neurotoxins. So even if you're not allergic, multiple stings can still take the life out of you. Conrad Berube, a beekeeper who got stung, said it was so excruciating that even his legs ached like he had gotten the flu. Another account from a Japanese entomologist recalls the sensation like a hot nail being driven into my leg. Even Coyote Peterson, host of the Brave Wilderness, sported an instant goose egg on a stung arm in one of his YouTube episodes. Whether you like it or not, murder hornets have definitely secured their spot in the potential torture ideas list. Number 9. Their Appearance and Size Like a creature drawn out of Stephen King's world of terrifying beasts and monsters, the name murder hornet might be the perfect fit to its unappealing appearance. For starters, a murder hornet is unusually enormous. It can grow up to a gigantic two inches long, truly deserving of the title, world's largest hornet species. A WSDA insect expert even mistook it for a child's toy the first time he encountered it. Yikes! To give you a better sizing demonstration, watch this video that went viral online where a murder hornet attacks and kills a mouse in less than a minute. To all you rodent lovers out there, this might be your worst nightmare. Scientifically, our subject is known as Vespa mandarinia. The Vespa has a large yellow-orange head with protruding eyes and a black and yellow striped abdomen. This killer bug uses its humongous mandibles to decapitate their prey, which are honeybees mostly. The queens grow the biggest, reaching up to two inches long with a three-inch wingspan. That's even bigger than some bird species. In these trying times, maybe it's best to put out wanted signs for these nasty critters. Number 8. Origin in Hornets as a Delicacy? The Asian giant hornets are usually found throughout Eastern Asia, but they are most frequently spotted in Japan where they are commonly known as the giant sparrow bee. Despite their size and venomous stinger, their numbers are declining in certain areas, mainly because of deforestation. While it is true that these insects may be at the top of their food chain, they are still not safe from mankind's taste for all things exotic. Humans pose as the greatest threat to their population, as some treat these insects like some sort of delicacy. It's pretty common practice in the mountains of Japan where their numbers are still large, so if you can't beat them, you might as well eat them. Number 7. How'd it get to North America? I guess that's the question that everybody's asking. Though it's really unknown how these hornets came to North America, invasive species expert Todd Murray says it's likely they were transported via international cargo. As we get more movement of product across the globe of people and cargo, we're gonna get hitchhikers like this one," Murray told Business Insider. More than 20,000 cargo containers arrive at the U.S. ports on the daily, and site inspectors can only do as much as a random search through these containers. It's easy for invasive species like the Asian giant hornet to get through. So the next time you get a shipment from Japan, maybe you'll be in for a big surprise. But no matter how they got here, we still have to understand how they are thriving to stop them from surviving. Number 6. Their Living Conditions So, where do these hornets nest and rest? The Asian giant hornet makes its nest in moist dead logs, and sometimes those logs are halfway out of the ground or not. As large and fear-inducing as they are, they don't really like that much attention. You won't normally see them flying around cities like honeybees, 
probably because they're not really used to extreme climates. They're very content with the low hills and vast forests where they belong. So if you're not Little Red Riding Hood's granny living deep in the woods, then there's pretty much nothing to worry about. Number five, their aggression. As technology digs its roots deeper into society, fear spreads quicker than ever. The hashtag Murder Hornet immediately became a trend on Twitter days after sightings in Washington. Today, people even compare their dread for the spread of these insects to the COVID-19 pandemic. But are these hornets really as deadly as we make them out to be? In Japan, almost 50 people die annually because of the Asian giant hornet. Most were because of severe allergic reactions to their stings. But it's not really because it's their natural instinct to murder people. These Asian giant hornets are not really aggressive when they're not provoked. This means that the attacks were mostly caused because us humans have a tendency of putting our nose into somebody else's beehive. Disturbing their peace, we paint them as the bad guys, but it's really us who are the real villains. So all you really have to do is mind your own beeswax. Number four, threat or treat. Though plenty of people have completely overreacted to the sudden presence of the murder hornets in North America, it is safe to say that these are all just a product of fear mongering. WSDA spokesperson Carla Salp said the hornets don't usually attack people. In general, people don't need to worry, she assured. As long as you don't step into a nest or approach a beehive they've taken over, there's a fairly low risk that you will be stung, she added. In parts of Japan, people even consider these hornets beneficial because they remove pests like harmful caterpillars from their crops. They are even thought to be nutritious, so they're used as ingredients in some Japanese cuisine and hard liquors. Some traditionalists even believe that the hornet's essence has various medicinal benefits. And get this, these Vespa's larvae even inspired sports companies to create a performance-enhancing sports drink. This drink is based off of the Vespa amino acid mixture that the larvae produce and is thought to boost the energy and stamina of athletes. A Japanese Olympic marathoner even said that she owed her outstanding performance during the Australian Olympics to the Vespa drink. So not only is the giant hornet a snack, it's even a health partner. Maybe it's time we make a beeline to the nearest Asian giant hornet colony after all. Number three, report sightings and entrapment. As of now, reporting possible sightings is the best way we could help those on the front lines. Scientists suspect that there may be more of them than what was initially reported. The Washington State Department of Agriculture hopes to limit the spread of the Asian giant hornet through trapping. The WSDA hopes for the full and utmost cooperation of the public in order to trap and eradicate this potential threat. And if you're in for the buzz, here's how to make hornet traps, courtesy of entomologist Chris Looney. The traps are made from plastic bottles with a hornet-sized hole cut on one side. The liquid bait is a mixture of rice cooking wine and orange juice. The bottle should be hung from sturdy branches near the edges of forest, according to the WSDA. Traps should be inspected and bait replaced each week for 17 weeks. Residents who successfully trap any insects, not just Asian giant hornets, should collect the solid contents from the bottle, draining the liquid with a mesh strainer and transferring the specimens into a plastic food storage container. Number two, lost in translation? The resonant power of the media across the globe can make the smallest issue turn into a giant pandemic. With all the news buzzing around about the Asian giant hornet, we may find ourselves dazed and confused about which is true and which is bent. But do these unwanted visitors really have the capacity to murder, thus having earned their nickname? If you take a look at news headlines, you will quickly notice that the murder hornet's nickname only appeared when US-based media companies began covering the story. Never has Japan or any East Asian country referred to these insects as murderers. The closest we get would be the Japanese term Setsujin Bachi or killer hornet. So they do call them murderers, some might say. Not necessarily so. There is quite a fine line, and yet a vast difference between a killer and a murderer, as a murder is premeditated. Asian giant hornets only attack in order to defend. There's really no intent to kill, unless it's a honeybee. The confusion may have come from the Japanese to English translation of the term Setsujin, written with two Japanese characters that mean kill and person. In this ambiguity, other words may have been used aside from kill as it was being translated like murder or manslaughter. So the question now is, did the media giants get lost in translation? Or is this their way of getting everybody to stir into a panic? Even so, the presence of Asian giant hornets in the Americas still remains to be a pressing issue. Number one, the real danger. So why are entomologists really alarmed by the presence of the Asian giant hornet in the US? While the giant hornets are typically not harmful to humans, they do pose a great danger to bee populations, which have been declining in many parts of the world. But what's the role of a honeybee in an Asian giant hornet's life cycle? 
Well, the life cycle of an Asian giant hornet starts in the spring, where it creates its nest and builds its colony. The game of hives begins when they enter the second phase, which is literally called the slaughter phase. A group of 30 Asian giant hornets invade a beehive, rampage and kill up to 25,000 bees until just a few honeybees remain. Some slaughter phases last for days. During the occupation phase, they stay inside the honeybee hive and eat the pupa and larva along with the honeybees they just slaughtered. During this phase, the hornets go back and forth between the occupied hive and their nest as they gradually devour the honeybee brood. And although the honeybees get all the honey in the world, I definitely say it pays to be a human in this instance. But there is one type of honeybee that has hope. Through years of struggle against the Asian giant hornets, Japanese honeybees adapted and found a way to fend off these head-snipping predators. As a team, they trap the invading hornet by forming a ball around it and furiously buzzing their wings to produce unbearable heat, making their own version of an oven, literally toasting the invader to death. Sadly, Western and European honeybees did not coexist with the Asian giant hornet, so they haven't developed any special kind of skill to counterattack. Nothing can protect them from their hopeless, headless futures. Entomologists are really worried that if the hornets are able to spread and populate in the US, plenty of insect species, not just honeybees, will eventually face endangerment. Nature will always find a way to balance itself. From procreation to death, there is no measure to the vast possibilities of life itself. But with these murder hornets, or Asian giant hornets, whatever you want to call them, one thing is crystal clear. In this unpredictable journey we call life, the strong will always prey on the weak. What do you think we should do about murder hornets? Let us know by commenting below. And if you found this video fun and interesting, just wait until you see this.